Hello and welcome to today's video. My name is Oleg and today we're going to go ahead and discuss five different stocks that I see the most value in that we were able to identify during our live uh, stream just a couple of minutes ago. And this is just going to be a summary of why we see the most value in those stocks. So let's go ahead and without further ado, let's go ahead and jump into my computer screen and let's get started. The very first company that we are going to talk about is going to have a ticker symbol of TWO, so Two Harbors Investment Corporation. So we zoom in, we can see that the company pays 10.30% in dividends, which is extremely difficult to beat. If we look at the chart, a one year chart, we can see that the company used to trade at about $15.45 a share back in February of 2020. It ended up retracting the price down all the way to $2.42, losing about 70 to 75% uh, of its value. Then the price of the stock of the company ended up making higher highs over the past couple of months and is currently trading at $6.94 a share. With a market capitalization of $1.9 billion, this is a small cap company and we're going to go ahead and look at a technical analysis of this company at a better chart. With the TWO trading above 180 in the 20 day SMA line, we wanted to see it break through this major resistance line, which ended up happening. At this point, we ended up setting up our alert at $6.94 a share. And if we zoom in on a 20 day chart, we can see that it's approaching this uh, level. What I would want to do is in this case for the company to re retract back to $6.74 area territory, confirm this as a support before starting making higher highs in order to have a better play with this company. So with this, let's go ahead and move on to our next company, which is going to be NWN. This company pays a 3.93% in dividends every year. If you look at a five year chart, we can see that it used to trade at about 62, maybe 66, about $60 a share in general. The company ended up dropping a price again in January of 2020, uh, all the way down to about $44.44 .44 a share. Currently trading at $48.88 a share. If we look at the max chart, the company has been making higher highs over uh, the past couple of decades. Ever since 1985, at least that's what Yahoo Finance um, ends up showing us. But again, the company is very, very uh, long term investment uh, portfolio type of a company. Again, trading at $48, approaching this multiple year uh, resistance line, we would want to be very careful trading this one. We would want it to break above that resistance and start making higher highs in order for it to be a profitable trade. Again, with a market capitalization of $1.49 billion, we would want to see a little bit less volatility with this company and continuous uh, growth just like it showed to us over the past couple of decades. Again, the company is not on the overbought side uh, according to the RSI indicators and MACD indicator. Uh, but again, we would not want to see uh, this company's price um, of the stock get rejected again by this multiple year um, level of resistance. So once it breaks through this resistance, it gets confirmed as a support and uh, we can see what our next play is going to be and it's going to basically dictate how we're going to uh, play this stock out. So NWN, let's go ahead and uh, look at a better chart. Again, if we look at a one year chart, we can see the company is approaching this 180 day SMA line, which is going to most likely act as a very strong resistance at this point. So once it breaks through this resistance, we already have our alert set up just to make sure that once it gets confirmed as a support, uh, we want to take a position in this one. Again, don't trade on uh, based on somebody else's experience, make sure to do your own due diligence. And uh, let's go ahead and move on to our third company. And our third company is going to be HEP. Again, HEP is a small cap stock with a $1.63 billion valuation, pays about 9% in dividends and has a very good history of making higher highs over the past couple of years. But again, we ha ever since 2017, the company has been dropping in value and making uh, lower lows and lower highs again. But um, there's something interesting about this company. Before we move on, just keep in mind, so 9% in dividends, $1.64 billion valuation, ticker symbol HEP. Let's go ahead and move on to HEP. And what we see on this screen right now is uh, we see this channel of resistance and support, right? So the idea that I really like behind looking at all these stocks is that it tr it's trading at, um, it's currently trading above 180 day SMA line. It's currently trading above 20 day SMA line. What we would want to see is for it to break above this channel, right? So above this resistance line, confirm it as a support. And then once uh, our alerts get triggered, then take a position on this company. Again, ever since beginning of 2020, 
the company ended up dropping in value by more than 62%, actually about 65%, and it was able to recover approximately 88% from its previous lows, but almost actually 90%. So again, does it seem to be on the overbought side? According to the RSI indicator, it seems like it's slightly on the overbought side, but again, MACD indicator has shown uh, to us a lot more potential for growth, and overall, uh, as long as it's trading above 180 day SMA line, uh, it seems like a good buy. So for me, I'm going to make sure to uh, definitely follow up on this one within the next couple of days on our live stream or uh, through the video with you guys just to make sure that we are aware of what uh, is going to happen with this company. Just one more thing is that the company is going to be reporting their earnings here soon. Uh, it's going to be happening on the 23rd of February. A lot of the companies that we are going to talk about today that we are currently talking about um, are reporting their earnings. And for some of the companies, it's going to act as a catalyst and we would want to make sure that um, our play out is very much rationalized, smart, and we're not taking any unnecessary risks. And with this, let's go ahead and move on to our fourth company, which is MITT. So Mortgage Investment Trust Fund. This company is a small cap stock, so $164 million valuation. They pay about 11.88% in dividends. And if we look at a five-year chart, we can see that the company used to trade at about 15 to 17, almost, almost $19.5 a share. The company ended up losing about 89% in value ever since beginning of uh, 2020. And then ever since then, it started making higher highs. We're going to look at a better chart here in a second, but the company is currently trading at $4.04 .04 a share when it used to trade at about $18 a share. Again, MITT, the ticker symbol. Let's go ahead and check this one out. MITT, and let's go ahead and look at a one-year chart. So again, the company ended up losing a lot, 85% uh, in value, and it had its peaks, it had its valleys, but again, it's finally starting to trade above 180 day SMA line. Finally, MACD indicator is pointing up slightly. We're going to zoom in and see it a little bit better, but again, uh, we can see that a lot of consolidation occurred around this level of about $3.50 a share. And at this point, it's breaking through that uh, multiple day uh, resistance that it had built up. Again, we would want to see higher highs in order to make sure that we're rationalizing our uh, play with this company, but we already have our alerts set up. And the way we're going to approach this company, this trade specifically, is going to be determined by how long we want to hold the shares of this company. If we're trying to do a swing trade, this is definitely on the overbought side on the um, RSI indicator. But again, when it comes down to a long-term investing, again, the company used to trade at $18 a share, currently trading at about $4.5 a share. So a long way to go to the next major resistance, uh, but again, we would want to see a little bit more consolidation and then higher highs from here on out in order to uh, rationalize our investment into this company. A very good stock, very much undervalued in comparison to some other REITs uh, here and there. Small uh, cap, uh, stock and we definitely need to be uh, looking out for the volatility on this one. All right, and the very last stock that we're going to talk about is going to be OGE Energy Corporation, so ticker symbol OGE. They pay 5.04% in dividends. If we look at the max chart on Yahoo Finance, we can see it's currently trading at the support line of $30.52 a share. With this percentage dividend, we can definitely justify this as a good buy and we'll see why. So $6.3 billion valuation, so mid-cap company, definitely offers a lot of potential for growth. OGE ticker symbol. If we look at the OGE ticker symbol and go back to one year chart, we can see that the company also ended up dropping by about 50%, 45% uh, in value. And from its lower lows, it ended up making 30% um, back on average. Right, we have the earnings report that is going to come out on the 25th of February that is going to act as a catalyst uh, for this company's stock to potentially go up or down. But again, this sets up the company for a great success because it's currently trading above 180 day SMA line and slightly above the 20 day SMA line. So we definitely would want to see this golden cross where the 20 day SMA line crosses the 180 day SMA line and then the earnings report is going to potentially act as a catalyst to push it above that level. Once it gets above that level, we already have our alert set up and we would want to see again the consolidation, the confirmation of the previous resistance as a support and continuation of making higher highs. This pattern can continue all the way up until July of 2021 
uh, within this channel and see where exactly it's going to go. I know this was a lot of information within about 10 minutes, but I hope you guys enjoyed this video and were able to find some value in this. If you did, don't forget to smash that like button below, subscribe for more, and every Sunday at 7 p.m. Eastern time, we're going to go live and review some of your stocks and some of the stocks that we came up with uh, earlier through the streams. So I hope you guys enjoyed this and don't forget to let me know what you think about it in the comment section below. I'll see you in the next one.